Welcome to week two. We're going to create an HTML page today and insert a picture and the type we received from the happiness site. So here you are with the code view on the top and the design view on the bottom. And let's add a title to the page. You can see with the title tag we've added week two exercise by me. Now let's add a div tag and there it is in the design view. There it is uh, in the code view. And if we go to the CSS panel, we can see the word style. If we click the word style, we can see the word AP Div 1. And then we'll just uh, scroll down and take a look at the properties that it comes with. These are the default properties. Well, let's add our own. So we'll double click on the word AP Div 1. And here we are in the rule definition. set the text align to left and then we're going to work with the box the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work with the width and the height we'll change the width to 660 and the height to 100 that's 100 percent now we're going to take a look at the padding and we're going to put uh, 10 pixel padding on the top and now for the margins we're going to set the top to zero the right to auto the bottom to zero and the left to auto. And that's what it should look like when you're finished for our div for AP Div 1. Now we're checking the positioning and it starts with absolute but we'll just erase that. So make sure there's nothing in there and the width is 660 and the height is 100 percent. And we're just going to leave the Z index as 1. So we're going to end up with this wrapper box in our design view. And here are the properties we put in. And in the code view you can also see the properties. Now we're going to add uh, some meta tags. So we'll just uh, put a return in there and then uh, an angled bracket. And as soon as you press the space bar you're going to find this drop down menu will appear and we're looking for the word meta and then again as you continue on press the space bar and another drop down menu appears and we want the word name and we're going to put some keywords in and the content goes next and from our top strengths text we can uh, open that inside the code view and then we can cut and paste from there as we need so we can cut and paste our keywords in there. Now we're going to create a description, a meta description. We'll follow the same process where we have meta name. In this case we'll choose description from the drop down list and the content will be basically a one, uh, one line sentence. So for example, this is my week two exercise, a web page enclosed in a wrapper by me. So here's what we're trying to build today. Now that we have our wrapper, we can start inserting our graphics and we should name our graphics as alternate text there, put a name in and in the property inspector for this graphic, we can see the link to the source file and we can see the alternate text put your name in there or a descriptor of the picture. Now I'm pressing the uh, the break character so that we can put uh, the items on the next line. So the picture then another graphic I, I pulled from the authentic happiness site and then all the top strengths. Now you notice everything's centered too so what I did is I went back and put in uh, the text to be centered instead of left in our CSS tag. I'm also putting in some breaks here between the lines so you can see so it's a little more uh, readable and I'm changing the URs to the I am so I'm changing wherever there's a U I change it to I or my and then we're gonna put a link at the bottom and so in our property inspector 
you notice there's the word link there so inside that box make sure you cut and paste the link and then we can save that as index.html and then preview it in Safari and there you have your first website and that should take you about five minutes and 36 seconds to do well at least that's how long this video is and check your link have a great day. See you next time.